Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about equivalent length in duct fittings. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so what we're going to do first is what we see on the right is, for example, an elbow. So here we have an elbow. And also we have in here the layout of a ductwork. So as you can see, this is the system right here. And we're going to notice there's a lot of fittings. Number one, number two, number three, and there are a lot. Okay, see? But in previous videos, we've been seeing that in order to do or design all this dark work, we only need to consider the critical path. And the critical path was actually this. We're going to put this in green. The critical path is going to be see all of this length the longest length that we have in here all right and why equivalent length is so important because actually we lose a lot of pressure there's a lot of pressure loss in fittings and that's why it's so important for example if this duct right here is for example um, uh, 10 feet see 10 feet and you have a change of direction or you have any different shape of in geometry you might have an equivalent length of pressure drop off maybe 30 maybe 40 so that's why it's more critical so that's why we need to understand what's equivalent length so to begin with we're going to put in here el so what is el we're going to put in here equivalent length equivalent there we go equivalent length length okay and what are the units the units are going to be in feet and also it's important to mention that this is not effective length uh, just for matters of not getting confused because in the beginning i was I, I was thinking about effective length or equivalent length or total effective length so it was a little bit confusing for me okay so let's call it equivalent length so what is it equivalent length is we're gonna see this in an example for example if i have a boot right here see a boot for a supply register see this is my register See, we have in here, say, maybe hmm, 100 CFM, see, supply register, okay, and I have a connection right here, right here, okay, there we go, okay, a flex duct, okay, so whenever we have this configuration, we're going to have the following, in here, we're, we're going to have a pressure drop, okay, for example, what happens if my pressure drop is like uh, 0. Point, um, 0 0.24 see 0 0.024 inches of water gauge or 2.4 inches of water gauge per 100 feet okay so if we have this pressure drop what would be the equivalent of this pressure drop in a straight duct so that's actually the equivalent length in other words if I have the same pressure drop, well, I'm going to put the, the same pressure drop. See, pressure drop number one, I'm going to have the same pressure drop, pressure drop number two. This is going to be equal at 0 0.024 inches of water gauge. And then we're, gonna, we're going to draw a straight duct. Right here, we're going to put a straight duct. See, a straight duct right there. All right. And it happens that this straight duct the length is 60 60 feet so in other words it took me 60 feet of a straight drop or, or, or of a straight duct in order to have the same pressure drop as the fitting right okay so since the pressure drop is the same so then in here we're gonna put the same length it's going to be this equivalent to 60 feet. But wait a minute. This is not a straight duct. So no, we cannot put length. That's why we put, and we're going to put that, that as pink. Let's put in here. That's why we put equivalent length, right? Because we cannot put as a length. This is not, let's put not a straight. See, not a straight duct straight however it's equivalent to this straight duct so that's why we cannot put l we put 
E, equivalent length. And so that is the main the main concept. So let's put that as a concept. Let's we're gonna go here and put it as green. Okay. So what is equivalent length? Is the comparison. Let's put in here comparison. Comparison. There we go. Comparison in terms of length. Okay, in terms of length of a fitting. Okay, of a fitting could be an elbow, could be a takeoff. There are multiple configurations. Comparison in terms of length of a fitting with the length. Okay, let's put length of a straight duct. Straight, straight duct. Duct. Okay, that's the concept. Okay, so in other words, we're comparing this fitting with a straight duct. And that's the reason we don't put the L, we put EL. And then in order to, to in order to get the tables, you have two sources in here for residential. You, you can check on manual D. Okay, you can check on manual D. There is a complete table. There is a table with a code with so many codes. See, for example, you have the duck fitting eight. B, you have the fitting 4M, you have the, there is different types of fittings. And also you can consult the ASHRAE tables, ASHRAE, ASHRAE tables, okay? In fact, they have a complete da database, database, okay, database. So you have these two sources, but if you don't want to pay for the membership, that is always, you can always resort to online resources. So if you Google manual D or ASRE, you, I'm sure you're going to be able to find the tables. That's what I usually what I usually do, honestly. But if you want to get the book, you can always order it online in ACA.org, A-C-C-A, manual D, in ASRE, ASRE has their own website, okay? So now that we have the equivalent length, we, I'm wondering where does this equivalent length come from? This EL equals 60 feet. So that's very interesting. So we're gonna put this, where does it come from? And the formula is the following. See, the equivalent length is gonna be equal to the following. It's gonna be equal to the pressure drop divided by friction rate, okay? Times 100, okay? Let's put that with a rectangle. There we go. Okay, equivalent length. That's a rectangle. Rectangle. Where PD is not like MDPD, police department. No, this is called pressure drop, okay? This is gonna be the pressure drop. Pressure drop. Okay, pressure drop. And this is in inches of water gauge or water column, okay? And what is the FR? FR is gonna be actually the friction rate. Friction, friction rate, okay, friction rate. And also, since this is the HVAC is in, is in math, we're not gonna go and make these thing, things complicated because whenever you're talking about friction rate of a fluid, you will have to talk about the Darcy equation, Colebrook equation, you will gonna have the uh, talk about the rail, Reynolds number and everything. So we're not going into specifics, but for now we're just showing the uh, formula. So the formula for equivalent length, which you have a table, it's a PD friction rate times 100. But wait a minute, what is the friction rate? We're gonna put that with red, okay? So with red because we are assuming the friction rate as a reference. The reference for the friction rate is gonna be 0 0.08 inches of water gauge or water column per every 100 feet. That's the reference. I'm gonna put this as a reference reference that manual D takes into account. That's reference number one, friction rate 0 0.08 inches of water gauge or column every 100, 100 feet, all right? So we have the friction rate, 
But what is PD? Pressure drop. Wait a minute. But what is the formula? The formula is going to be in the following. So the pressure drop is equal to the following. Equals to C times N times V. Okay. Divided by 4007 to the square. Okay. So that's the formula to calculate the pressure drop. Okay, well, let's put that as a rectangle again. So let, we're going to put that as a rectangle right here. Okay, let's put that as a rectangle like here. And wait a minute. So the contractors might be asking, like, why do I need this? We just need the formula and we just need to do the calculation. Uh, so the, the, the reason for my videos is just to have a better understanding on what everything is. So for the contractor, you're going to be able to install the ducts, but at the same time, you're going to have more verbiage, more vocabulary or on what is equivalent length. Okay, if I use the table, okay, the equivalent length is based on friction rate and the pressure drop, but the friction rate based on manual D is a reference number of 0 0.08 inches of water gauge per 100 square feet and this is based on a reference velocity too so it's just to give more idea more knowledge to contractors and engineers too on how this works equivalent length okay so now we're going to put in here what is every variable so what is c c is going to be the loss coefficient loss coefficient where do you get coefficient loss coefficient why this loss coefficient depends on the shape so see for example you have an elbow in here you you can have a, a, a an elbow a t transition reduction you can have a takeoff you can have so many shapes but that's why there is a database that's why there's a manual d table you're going to be able to find all the combinations okay of the fittings so in those combinations you're going to be able to find the loss coefficient that we need okay and this is uh, the unitless okay let's put unitless in here unitless dimensionless now what is n n is going to be array Reynolds number adjustment or f adjustment adjustment okay and again this comes from tables let's put in here here and here tables tables okay tables tables from where tables from manual d and ASRAE, especially from ASRAE, there's a lot of tables okay so technically these two are pretty much constants that you get from tables based on the shape see or based on the type of fitting okay so now what is v so v is the velocity velocity of the airflow velocity and the units are of course fpm and in other words, if you see this velocity divided by 4,007 to the square, that's the velocity pressure, in other words, okay? But wait a minute, there is another reference. reference. My table from ACA is going to be based on a velocity reference of equal 900 FPM, okay? 900 fpm that's the reference velocity reference velocity but for who this is going to be for supplied supply ducts okay supply in other words in other words if you if you find the tables in aka manual d let's let's talk about aka manual d because uh, this is also important um let's put in here aka, aka manual d so let, we're going to put that as a green see from ACA, ACCA, Manual D, Manual D. This is like a cookbook. If you want more specific equations, you can go to ASRAE too. ACA Manual D has the tables for equivalent length for fittings. Tables of equivalent length for fittings. But for fittings, you have two options. You have two groups. You have supply, you have return. So what is what are the references what are the values that you already have by as a reference to do the calculations for supply the reference numbers are your velocity equals 900 fpm 
and your friction rate equals 2.08 inches of water column per 100 feet, right? Now, for return, for the return fittings, you're going to have that your reference is going to be V equals to 9, uh, no, 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 it's not 900. This is going to be equal to 700 FPM, and the other one is going to be your friction rate equals to 0 0.08 inches of water gauge divided by 100 feet. All right. So you, if you get the tables and you find your effective, not really effective, it's equivalent length, then they are based on these reference numbers right here and right here. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And in future videos, I'm going to make an example on how this works. You don't need to do these examples because we already have tables. We already have computers and programs that already take into account those equivalent lengths that we like we did in my previous videos we we saw how, what is the equivalent length of this um triangle or this uh, junction box we saw how much is the equivalent length of these supply registers i mean boots boots and then we saw these takeoffs we saw every equivalent length okay it is not the effective length, although some people like to call it effective length. But in order not to get confused, I call the tail total effective length, which is based on the critical path. And I like calling for my fittings, leave my fittings alone. I call it equivalent length, not effective length. Equivalent length. Why? Because, again, forgive my redundancy, the length is 60 feet. We cannot put length because these boots are not straight. So that's why we call it equivalent length. All right, share and subscribe with my videos. And don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and make any comment or any suggestions. Thank you for watching my channel, HVAC is mad. Bye-bye.